Have you ever created loads of buttons and you want to keep repeating them, but rather than copy and pasting, you want to be able to just pull them out of your widget list over here? Well, you can when you use a global widget, and I'm going to show you how to do that really, really simply. We're just going to go over here and we're just going to pull over a button like that. We're just going to drop it in here on this test page and we're going to leave it as it is at the moment, okay? We're going to call it click here. Sorry, when I say leave here, we're not going to change the wording or the link or anything. We are going to go into the style though. And I'm going to give this a background color of something like that. So it's like you can hardly see it. I'm going to give it a border type solid. I'm going to give it a one. I'm just going to make it a white color like that. Okay. And we're going to curve it as well. So we have a bit of a button going on there. Okay. And imagine that is a button that we're going to repeat and use a lot. And it might have some particular CSS added into it as well. What I mean by that is there might be some funky animation where it might be that when you hover, it doesn't just change color. It also things pop out of it, for instance, you know, maybe another image or something like that. So let's say we've stylized that to be as perfect as we want it to be. And this is where it is so easy. It's, it's remarkable. You just right click and you'll see the option. You've, you've probably not even registered it was there because you haven't gone looking for it save as a global and we're going to give it a name so I'm just going to call it purple button it was kind of a very dark purple by the way okay and that is now saved I'm now going to go over to this button and I am going to click it sorry we won't click it we will duplicate it in fact okay now as soon as I edit the copy it says do you want to edit the global widget or do you want to unlink this now if I edit the global it will change it every time we use this widget which is not what we want to do I want to unlink the duplicate, okay? So this one here is still the global widget. This, however, is now completely independent. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to give this a, a zero border. In fact, we'll have no border. I'm going to change the color completely to a red. And this is again where you might do some funky styling. Again, look, I might just do something like this. Okay, I've completely changed the way it looks. I'm now going to right click that and say this is a global and I'm going to call this one red button. I mean, I'm just using buttons. You could do this for as many widgets as you want. Be creative, people. That's the name of the game. There is no game, by the way, so please don't quote me on that. I'm just going to hit update for a moment, OK? So let's just say now I'm on a completely different section or somewhere else in my website and normally you would have your widget list and you still have button over here. Look, there is the standard button, but we now have the global tab. I mean, it's always been there. Normally when you go in, it's empty. You click on global now, we have purple button and we have red button. Let's drop red in. Whoa, there we go. And it says, do you want to edit the global widget or do you want to unlink and now modify? It might be you're going to modify the actual link within there. It might go to menu anchor, another page, or even open up a pop-up or something like that. Let's go back to our global and we're going to pick up the purple and drop it over there. And that's it. This is how you make things for yourself so much more efficient. So when you're working on a website, if you define a certain look for a button, you can, if you want, just copy and paste, or you can save it as a global widget. I mean, how awesome is that? Efficiency, creativity, Go away and play with it. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.